cyanide anion is an important carbon nucleophile that can add to ketones and aldehydes. It's not really part of an organometallic reagent per se, but we do find it in ionic salts such as sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide. And if we treat a ketone or aldehyde with acid and an alkali metal cyanide like this, we get reversible nucleophilic addition of the cyanide anion, which is a pretty stable anion and a pretty weak nucleophile as a result. But we can drive this reaction to products, for example, by using an excess of cyanide. The resulting product is known as a cyanohydrin, and it includes a hydroxy group and a cyano group linked to a common carbon, the former carbon, nil carbon, right here. This is known as a cyanohydrin. And the mechanism of this reaction involves initial nucleophilic addition of cyanide to the carbonyl carbon. This is reversible and tends to favor the starting materials because cyanide, again, is not that great of a nucleophile, pretty stable anion there, much stable, much more stable than an alkoxide. But treatment with acid drives this reaction to products, drives this reaction to the cyanohydrin, since that alkoxide is very rapidly protonated by the HCl or hydronium or whatever other acid is present in the reaction mixture. Now, these cyanohydrin or alpha hydroxy nitrile is another way we could put that. These products can be further transformed using reduction with lithium aluminum hydride or hydrolysis. And reduction here takes advantage of the fact that the nitrile group behaves like a carboxylic acid derivative. And so like a carboxylic acid derivative, this can accept hydride from lithium aluminum hydride, converting the nitrile group into a primary amine. So through electron flow that looks highly analogous to carbonyl reductions we've already seen, hydride adds to the nitrile carbon right here. And after a couple of additions of hydride and a couple of proton transfers, we end up with this neutral amine where the two new hydrogens from the aluminum hydride have added there. This is a way to generate um, one, two amino alcohols, where the alcohol, the hydroxy group, comes from the carbonyl group, and the amino group comes from cyanide, essentially, in the addition of uh, cyanide step. These can also be hydrolyzed, and hydrolysis of nitriles converts the nitrile or cyano group into initially an amide via nucleophilic addition of water. We'll have much more to say about hydrolysis when we start talking about additions of water to ketones as well as carboxylic acid derivatives. The amide can be further hydrolyzed into a carboxylic acid through addition of essentially another equivalent of water here, and this resulting alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid is a pretty unique product, pretty uniquely useful. Lactic acid comes to mind as one example of this uh, class of, of compounds. But in any event, this is a way to achieve uh, an interesting sort of oxidation pattern that's hard to achieve otherwise, where we have a hydroxyl group adjacent to a carbonyl group or a hydroxyl group adjacent to an amino group.